What's up? <laughs> well, I am uh, finally making a video, I guess. I'm in my new shop so, that you briefly seen. I like barely showed you anything with the shop. In that video, I just told you that you know there's more stuff coming. Well, I'm fully moved in. It took it took oh, about a week or two to get everything done, but I moved in, or fully moved in finally. And I guess we're settling in, and then, bam, coronavirus hits, and just people go ham. So uh, it's actually pretty scary. It's like a little story. Uh, we do grocery pickup from Walmart, so we just pull in, get our groceries, and come home. Because neither of us like to get out and just like walk around and get groceries. It's just really annoying. And the grocery pickup's a really cool thing to do, I guess. Or a really cool thing they've added. So I've just been using that for like a very really long time. And we did it. Went there to get our groceries, and they told us they was uh, out of stuff. So, like, I don't know. It was like we didn't get but like 10% of the stuff because everybody was, it was sold out of everything. So we had to go or I didn't Taylor went to like four different stores and to get our groceries. <laughs> like it sucked. So yeah, there's like the effects of this coronavirus thing going around or the, the, the deal with it. I don't really know like the deal with it or whatever, but yeah, this is sort of like, this is my shop. I ain't really showed you guys. So I kind of give y'all like a walk around, I guess. But this is not my stuff. This is previous owner stuff. And this, this is my car, obviously. I got my car in here, I was gonna detail it. And I just had time had to run back and forth because the air conditioner stopped working. So I had to call somebody about the air conditioner. And then we have a pipe that started leaking so I had to fix it. Now I gotta go to the source pretty soon to get like a little attachment to put on the pipe. Well, anyway, here's my car. And we, I was, I was just like trying to detail it and clean it out because I haven't cleaned it. As you can see, it's like super muddy. I've not even touched my car. I haven't cleaned it or nothing. So that's what I was working on. The lighting, I'm fixing the lights in here. See, like you got one light and then the other side, I don't know if y'all can see it. Uh, the camera goes dark. Anyway, this light, you can't tell, but it's blowed because this light is so bright. This light's blowed, that one has a light blowed, that one has both good, and this one's completely out. It flickers every now and then, but when you touch it, it'll flicker. Anyway, I got to uh, replace both of those, and then replace one on each of those, and it should be bright again in here. Like if you stand right here, it's not very bright. Like my car's super dark, as you can tell. But if you come over here under the light, it just kind of brightens everything up. That's how the GoPro, the shutter speed on the GoPro is just wild. And uh, I've been posting a Jeep on my social media and I haven't really made a video on it, but I am gonna make a video on it right now, actually. Uh, oil and filter for this car. I was gonna change the oil on it. But I left my jack and my other TL, which is still at Dylan's house. I gotta go get it, bring it over, and work, I can work on it in here and park it out in the driveway if I wanted to or whatever. But it's probably super dark and you can't see it. There's my Jeep, but I am gonna pull it in here so you can see it a lot better. It, believe it or not, it does fit to the door. Didn't think it was gonna fit tall wise. When I found out I could pull it in, I didn't know if it was gonna fit wide wise because the wheels are pretty wide or the tires are pretty wide, but it fits and it pulls right in. I haven't had any problems with the Jeep. I really like it. I'm actually just like growing on me and I haven't really had any problems or anything like that. Now I did have it loaded down with like my toolboxes. There's my toolbox over there. Man, I turned that camera around slow. There's one of my toolboxes. It's like the little one, or not the little one, but it's pretty tall. And then you got the toolboxes on top, of my big toolbox, and it was all loaded down. <laughs> There's my, I gotta hang this up. This is my fast injection banner thingy. Yeah, I gotta hang it up. I was gonna hang it up right there. But yeah, I'm gonna pull my Jeep in so y'all can see that thing. There's some more of my tools right there. And uh, there's my new alternator. Of course, I ordered it from Rock Auto. New alternator, new power steering pump for my Jeep. Y'all don't even know about that. I don't know why I'm showing all that. Y'all don't even know that it needs it. But yeah, we're thinking about moving in these couches around or whatever and having like a little podcast thing here. So like once a week, my, me and my friends will sit here 
and talk about like what's going on or what's been going on or whatever. Like we was doing with the love seat because this is the love seat or whatever. The love seat podcast that we did a while back. Uh, we were thinking about doing it again. Oh, if you've seen that spare tire in there, this is one of Dylan's wheels. Uh, we we found that it fit my car. Uh, I have wire showing. I didn't even know it. So like on my tires, they're really good. Like super good tread here. These two were on the front. They're super good tread all the way to the inside about this much. It's showing wire all the way around. It's like, dang it. And it wasn't pulling to the right or left, so I didn't know it needed an alignment. So I'm guessing it needs an alignment. I, knew, I do know that I have to control. I don't know if y'all have ever noticed this, but I bought the car, drove it over to my buddy's house or my buddy's work to grab some wheels, and he noticed that the wheel was pushed back a little bit. It needs a lower control arm. And I never went and got it from him. He said he had an extra one, but I, I just never went and picked it up. But yeah, lower control arm, I think it's bent a little bit and it's pushed, like pushed the wheel back a little bit. So I'm assuming that's what the problem is. But I do have two brand new tires on the front, which came off. These all four were brand new tires. And uh, I haven't drove the car, but not even, I don't even think I've drove it. Well, I probably drove it over 10,000 miles. But yeah, I have because we drove it to Florida. That's right. But anyway, those these tires are still really good. It's just the inside showing wire. So we put them on the back just in case. And I was like, man, my spare tires like little bitty. No, I wasn't. I was scared it might blow out. So I grabbed this big wheel and put it in here because I didn't want to like put the spare on the back and it blow out or something because the spare is in the back. It's been back there. It's not been used or anything. So I'm sure, sure it's good. I just don't really like spares. Really sketchy. So I got that big tire just in case I had a blowout on the back. But yeah, now I've got to get two new tires. It's probably dark right here. I am going to pull the Jeep in in a few minutes. I'm going to just finish vacuuming my car and wipe the dash down and all that. Because I haven't, like I said, we've been moving so much. I haven't even really paid attention to this car. So uh, I'm going to clean this thing up a little bit and then I'm going to pull the Jeep in. I cleaned it up a little bit, but it's like a lost cause. <laughs> like, because the carpet's ruined in it. And But there's a Jeep, so of course they're going to be like that. But I'll give you the details as soon as I pull the Jeep in and uh, let you get a good look at it. Finished uh, finished cleaning everything up. And nothing major, just like a little detail, I guess. Like I said, I was just gonna detail my car a little bit. This stuff right here is what I used and it is like the best stuff ever, so far that I've used. I haven't used a lot of products, so I can't just say this is the best stuff ever. But yeah, that's the best stuff I've used so far on vehicles. It really makes everything shine. <clears throat> the dash is kind of hard to get it to shine, but you know, still works. And that for that vacuum, where is that vacuum? Let's see, in my trunk. Look at my trunk. For this vacuum right here to be one of the like, I don't even know the name of it. And Dylan gave it to me, but it done really great. It cleaned the car really well. For it to be just a small vacuum. These are seat covers, if you could tell. <laughs> um, the seats are very ripped up. All the, uh, like under here, I would show you guys. You've probably seen it in a previous video, but all the padding, not the padding, but the surface of this is ripped up underneath and up here too and on both seats. It's really bad, so uh, I just got seat covers put over it because these are the heated seats and I'm pretty sure they're really, I haven't searched them. I'm pretty sure they're very, very expensive for these cars because of the heated seats. But yeah, I didn't want to have to buy those. But yeah, this is my car so far. That's so awesome. <laughs> I've never had that luxury. <laughs> the last garage I had, I had to open by hand. Didn't have motors. So awesome. All right, here's my Jeep. It's on uh, 
35 inch tires not sure on the brand of wheel i think it's like bart wheels or something like that i had to look i think it's stamped right here bart wheels that may just be a sticker i'm not sure i know those jeep um where it says jeep on the wheel like i know that's just like a sticker like that i can make on my machine but yeah it's a uh, pretty mess it's not messy but i cleaned it a bunch but the floors are pretty bad uh i haven't washed it i'm gonna paint it it's not gonna say this color <laughs> uh bacon fenders <laughs> but it's got a rough country lift i think it's a four inch lift i may be wrong I think it's a four and a half lift four and a half inch not totally sure i can't remember but yeah 35s four and a half inch lift it sits pretty tall um i really don't like the 35s i'd rather have 33s because i'm a small tire guy i don't really like huge tires but i mean this will do it's no big deal it's got shackles in the rear if you can't see it right there everything works the ac don't it's not hooked up i'm pretty sure it don't work any, anyway whether it be hooked up or not uh the al alternator was going bad and the power steering pump's pretty weak it won't really turn these 35s like it should uh you lift the truck up and you turn them and it works fine so we assume the power steering pump's pretty weak so we're going to change it i'm going to change this clutch fan to two dual fans because it's just got this fan and it's not cooling it enough because it tried to overheat on me the other night but i luckily enough i was going down duck river and i just coasted down duck river and it cooled it off pretty easy wrong battery for this come out of the uh this came out of the uh focus i had to get this battery because my battery was shot because the alternator was uh bad so it was draining the battery pretty hard especially when you use the headlights and stuff so that come out of the focus and my battery is still under warranty it's in the back of this and i'm going to exchange it for a new battery because i do have a new alternator which is right here you think this is awesome? Yeah, this is all awesome. there. Nope, that's power steering pump. Okay, so there's power steering pump. And here's the alternator right there. Then I'm gonna put those on uh, later on, maybe this week or so. And should be fine after that, I hope. Hopefully we're pushing like 14 volts. But yeah, this is it. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do to it. I'll probably fix it up and get some parts for it. I'll probably order everything off eBay. It seems to be like the cheapest way to go. So, yeah, it's cool. It's already got a lift and tires. And that's, so that's kind of knocked out. And I've already cut everything. Like I usually cut them right here. So this, this was pretty cool that this was already done. Uh, I probably would have cut the fenders, <laughs> to be honest, if I had it. I'd probably cut the fenders already so they had already done it they cut this one right they cut it and they left a pretty good lip in there and they hammered the lip in and flared it out or this is the flared part anyway but they flared it out a pretty good bit but they did put that lip in there so it's not like it's like they cut it and then beat everything in so it's not like the inner fender and this is separated and it's just sitting there separated they like actually did it right i thought that was pretty cool the rear end is welded and i'm pretty sure the front end is i was told that there's maybe they didn't know for sure but that maybe because i got this from the, uh, the other guy that got had it uh well it was, everything was already done to it when they got it the only thing they did was replace the whole front end because it was on the way home and it got death wobble so they replaced the whole front end, new steering stapler, track arms, everything. Just replaced all of it. So the whole front end is new. And I know for a fact it doesn't like get death wobble because I was like doing 70 down 278 the other day. So yeah, I'm pretty sure it's fine. Uh, it didn't get death wobble. I was letting off the throttle and putting back on it, letting off the throttle just to see if it would have happened. And it never did. The mirror is gone on the side. I can get a new mirror off eBay for like $10. So that's cool. Uh, only thing I'll probably do is I'll probably cut it here, chop that piece off so I have more room 
I did that to my last Jeep. I loved it. I love the way that looked. I'll probably get some armor. So I've never actually bought any before. But I'll probably get some armor to put up here along these sides. And I'll probably do something here with the fenders. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the fenders just yet. But I'm probably going to do something for them. And then painting it, I'm going to either go with Army Green or Army Tan. I'm not totally sure just yet. But I shall figure that out later. It, it, well, Y'all in the comments, tell me what y'all want. Oh, and these bumpers are down here, and these bumpers are really nice. This is Chris's chain. This is Crispy's chain. <laughs> so I just put it on there because I uh, thought it'd look cool. But yeah, these bumpers are already on here. They're pretty solid. So that's really cool. I didn't know if there's a... I thought there was going to be a thing up here that I could uh, put a winch on, but there's not. I can find one, find somebody build me one anyway. But yeah, this bumper and this bumper right here. Pretty nice metal solid bumpers. I know it just got super dark. This sounds super muddy. Sorry for the lack of videos. Like I said, I'm moving in. I moved in now, fully moved in. We've got the house hall painted, everything's moved in, and the shop's going, you know, well, so I can uh make more videos. Ugh, I can make more videos now. I have really badass internet here so that was like the main thing i wanted when i moved out here so we're kind of out in the county i mean we are out in the county so we're like 20 minutes from coleman and i still i get better internet here than i was i could i could have got this internet in coleman but i had to pay like a 200 dollars installation fee but i got uh, a uh, promotion deal that they had going on and I got it here, so I'm getting like a, a gigabyte of internet and like 40 upload. So it's like insane internet. So uh, I could go live if y'all wanted me to, and we could do some live videos and stuff. That's why I was asking in my last video if y'all wanted me to go live and stuff, how would y'all would think of that. But yeah, I could totally go live and stuff. And I really have thought about it, and my friends all want me to. Like we do the, these, uh, the Love Seat podcast sessions live. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah gotta get better lighting though i gotta get more light bulbs because uh the lighting is not very well in here not very lit it's not lit so and i'll have like a whole computer thing set up here and there's gonna be a big tv set up here there'll probably be a screen down here and a tv up here i'm gonna put the chat up here and we're gonna that way i can see live chat while we're doing stuff like this so i just think it's just a bunch of ideas just a bunch of ideas that we could possibly do. So, yeah, just let me know. But that, yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.